Yo, who does this guy think he is? What it do, Ski? It's your boy, Faley McWhaley, and today, I'm here with my reaction video to Avatar The Last Airbender. This one is Season 1, Episode 10. How's it going, everybody? So last time, a water scroll was stolen, we met some pirates, and uh, Zuko was uh, on some bullshito. Let's continue on with the show and see what's gonna pop. So as always, if you enjoy this video, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Yet. Hey, hey, here we go. Jet. This is a uh, Valorant. Everyone's gotta eat. Where's Momo? Come on, Momo. This guy Aang is too slick with it. No flying this time. What? Fire Nation, keep finding us. It's because they spot Appa. True. Appa's not too noticeable. I know you all want to fly, but my instincts tell me we should play it safe this time and walk. Who Fair made call. you the boss? I'm the leader. If anyone's the leader, it's Aang. Guitar, take the title. Why That's on you. I bet you wouldn't be so bossy if you kissed a girl. I've met Grand Grand. No, besides Grand Grand. So Taurus, we have a better chance of slipping through on foot. I'm tired of carrying this pack. You know who you should ask to carry it for a while? Sokka's instincts. It's a hot roast hey, session Sokka's right here. Instincts. Would you mind? Okay, okay, I get it. But the important thing is that we're safe from the Fire Nation. Wow, that's unfortunate. Wow. We're cut off. This might be a different set of Fire Nation. If you let us pass, we promise not to hurt you. You promise not to hurt us. Uh, uh, oh, uh, body. Hello. Nice work, Sokka. Look. Okay. Uh, uh, they're in the trees! Oh, there's more than one? Hey! Got the uh, Kotsky or whatever? What the hell are these guys? Hey. Hi. Who just took out a whole army almost single handed? There were only like 20 guys. My name is Jet, and these are my freedom fighters. Freedom Sneers fighters. and Pipsqueak. Okay. <laughs> Pipsqueak. Thanks for saving us, Jet. We were relying on instincts. You'll get yourself killed doing that. Let's not get those mixed up. We'll take the stuff back to the hideout. You guys have a hideout? All right, so we found some freedom fighters. Let's see how this We're goes. Here. Where? See if there's, there's a, nothing here. a twist with them. Hold this. Grab hold of me, Katara. But they're not shocked. <laughs> it's beautiful up here. One day, we'll drive the Fire Nation out of here for good and free that town. Yeah, nothing's braver than a guy in a treehouse. Long shot over there? His town got burned down by the Fire Nation. Oof. And we found the Duke trying to steal our food. Fire Tragic Nation backstory begins. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I was only eight years old. Oh, boy. They're really... <clears throat> they've been causing problems. We struck another blow against the Fire Nation swine. <laughs> no. Fuck em. Hey, Jet. Nice speech. That was some great bending I saw out there today. I could use some more training. Avatar, huh? So I might know a way that you and Aang can help in our struggle. Mm -hmm. Sokka, you're kidding me. I needed you on an important mission tomorrow. What mission? Oh, no. He's getting baited. So it's... Uh, well, it's and they straight up just start, like, murdering people or something? Or what, what's the... What's the thing here? Like, they have their own mission they gotta attend to, you know? We got We got a set time. End of summer. Okay. Shh. False alarm. He's mm, just an old man. I don't give a shit. What are you doing mm. in our woods, you leech? <laughs> Do you like destroying towns? Let me go, have mercy. Jet, he's just an old man. Have you forgotten that the Fire Nation killed your mother? It's what has to be done. Now let's get out of here. Sokka, what do you do? But we're leaving. But I made him just this put hat. put his foot down. Your boyfriend Jet's a thug. What? He's just got a different way of life. A really fun way of life. Sokka, you told them what happened, but you didn't mention that the guy was Fire Nation? He was an assassin, Sokka. See? There's a compartment for poison in the knife. He was sent to eliminate me. Oh. I knew there was an explanation. I didn't see cabin. any knife. That's yeah, because he's... he was concealing it. See, Sokka? He's capping. I'm sure you... I really need your help. If you both use water bending to fill the reservoir, we could fight the fires. Sounds like the big we suck to me. Leave now. Jet's very smooth, but we can't trust him. Katara, I'm not jealous of Jet. Your own family with you on this one. Let's go. Huh? Now listen. You are not to blow the dam until I give the signal. What about the people in the town? Look, Duke, that's the price of ridding this area of the Fire Nation. Now don't blow the dam until I give the signal. Got it? Where do you think you're going, Ponytail? Oh, Aang is gonna enjoy this. Sokka, I'm glad you decided to join us. You lied to Aang and Katara about the forest fire. Because they don't understand the demands of war. I can see you've made your choice. Oh, God. Take him for a walk. 
a long walk. We're gonna win a great victory against the Fire Nation today. Buddy, buddy, not like this. Jet. Underground water is trying to escape from these vents. I need you guys to help it along. Yes! <laughs> when we're done, we'll meet you over there. Actually, probably better if you meet me back at the hideout when you're done. Guys, come on, the red flags be popping up. Let's catch up with Jet at the reservoir. I'm sure he'll be happy to see us. How can you stand by and do nothing while Jet wipes out a whole town? Yeah. Then he's got a lot to learn. Hey! He does the dash. What are they doing? The Fire Nation. Because Jet's gonna blow up the dam. Big no, brain. that would Jet wouldn't do that. Yo, you don't know this guy. Jet, why? Think about what the Fire Nation did to your mother. Cycle of pain, fam. Understand me, Katara. Where's Sokka? <laughs> Okay, here we go. You're not going anywhere without your glider. Yo, who does this guy think he is? He's a decent fighter for sure, but he's gonna give him the air. Now you better learn to trust your bro. What are you doing? Would have got body. You're too Capital late. B body. No. <sighs> Sokka's still out there. Come on, Sokka. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Word. You probably evacuated the town. Wow, all the cabbages. No. Still, the infrastructure of the town's gone. All those people. Jet, you monster. The Fire Nation is gone, and this valley will be safe. I warned the villagers of your plan, just in time. What? But one man vouched for me. The old man you attacked. And we got everyone out in time. You traitor. No, Jet. You became the traitor when you stopped protecting innocent people. Yep. Katara. Yo. Jet. See ya, buddy. Yep, yep. The Thaw. The Dam. Thaw. No, there's no, no, don't even put a D in front of it. Thaw is Let me guess. thawing himself, man. Your instincts told you. And that was my reaction video to Avatar The Last Airbender. This one was season one. Episode 10. I thought this was a pretty, uh, this was an interesting episode because we, it was just like a full on Sokka development episode. We got to, you know, see his intuition being tested and in the end it prevailed. And obviously, we weren't really, uh, you know, trusting him, throwing some jokes at him and, uh, you know, roasting him a little bit here and there. Uh, and it, what ended up happening was once they followed his intuition initially, they ran to the fire. Fire Nation. And I think, I think the, the ideas of this episode are pretty interesting. I think are rather crucial. Uh, a crucial lesson they learned is that they can get easily manipulated here not be as trusting and and they got manipulated super easily Especially uh, Katara to be fair I think jet was an interesting character for the fact that everything isn't just black and white And I think that's what this episode really put at the forefront here um, They both obviously had some Similar stories where both their family members and you know, they have tragic backstories where the, the fire nation did bad and you know Did wrong and killed their family uh, But that doesn't mean that they're gonna go and kill every single fire nation person out there, right? Like it's not just because you are this therefore you are that I thought that was some pretty interesting and heavier topics I think discussed this episode that coupled in with the character development of Sokka I liked it. Maybe it was a little you know straightforward sure But uh, I think it's an interesting lesson that Katara learned like, you know um, Sure, she might have had some feelings for him, but it was because he was clearly uh, a a really good manipulator enough to the physical touching to just the way he has with his words the slickness his smoothness both in his you know physical abilities uh and just the way he had it with his words uh he was very good at manipulating and i could understand he, he wasn't a very great dude but i could understand where he was coming from and though and it wasn't the, obviously that's not in my opinion, not the, the way to go, and I think that's what this episode showed here. So uh, I think it was an interesting way that they showed can't be too trusting just because you know someone seems to have the same goals as you in you know trying to stop the Fire Nation. You got to look a little bit deeper into their character and understand why they're doing it, what for, etc., uh, etc. Et On the surface level, it's like yeah, we have to stop them, but at what cost, right? Um, if, if if we have to stop the Fire Nation, we're gonna beat up old people who are just civilians just going on a stroll. Uh, we're gonna you know, sacrifice an entire village. I like those ideas that they put across this episode, guys. Uh, also, we gotta have some Sokka development here. Yeah, he, I think this was a W in his book, so uh, I like that. We even got to see him use his ability, see some of his the more like I guess technical aspects to his character that aren't due to, aren't don't, that don't have to do with bending. We gotta see him use his boomerang. We gotta see him uh, even do some techniques there with uh, sticking the wood in the. Uh, uh, sticking his his uh, his weapon in, the, in 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 the tree. But yeah, guys, that was Avatar: The Last Airbender, season one, episode ten. What'd you think about this one, guys? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Some other standouts I think this episode is like 
I think cool things that popped up here were I think the uniqueness to the freedom fighters and the fact that he was so you know I, I would I would guess that the people he brought on board with him like the, the, I already forget the names uh, you know his his his, cr his crew um, they obviously went through similar you know experiences and he was able to manipulate them to join his team. But with that being said, y'all, that's it for this one, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Love you, peace. <laughs>